Hello. I am the artificial intelligence of the cargo ship truth and reconciliations perfect algorithmic computer. You've been alone for a long time, haven't you? I do not feel. You sure about that? Oh shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. Hmm, well anyway, since this is up, uh, big thanks to our lovely producers over at Patreon. Look at all those lovely people there. Heroes. Modern day heroes. Police, firefighters, fuck them. These are the heroes. There we go. Um, <clears throat> welcome back to the See Me After Class podcast. So uh, this is uh, this is a tutorial part of the podcast. Uh, I hope you guys are on board for that. So we're actually going to switch our scene. And I'm going to show you my third computer monitor over here. So this is where I have FL Studio open. And this is what I use to create music tracks for the show. Um, for RB and the Chief and the podcast, I make music with this. Very simple stuff. This is not complicated shit. If you're, if you're into music and you've always shied away from it because you think it's too complex for you, um, I would really reconsider and just get a free trial of this and get some plugins and VSTs to use with it. And uh, I think you'll find yourself quickly having fun. And uh, you might even make something that's cool. You know, because I know shit. I know jack shit about music theory. But I think that I can make something that sounds good. If you just throw me in there with the toys and the knobs and the dials. And just let me play around with shit. If I can do that that I feel like I can s make something that I think sounds okay. Even if I don't really know the tools that I'm playing with, even though I can't use the specific musical terminology for the things that I am doing with the music, the notes, right, to make it sound pleasing in a way that pleases me, right? So this is my way of doing things, okay? This is not... This is not a like master class tutorial in FL Studio or any shit like that. I think you'll probably find that I use this software incredibly inefficiently. Or I don't use it in depth enough, considering the amount of time I've been using this. Um, I mean, I do. I play around with the, the audio waveforms by transforming the sound in the synthesizers, in the VSTs, with the options that they have but I don't do an awful lot of it I mean a lot of the times I just like whatever sounds cool about an instrument it'll sound that way by default I don't even have to touch it but occasionally I'll make tweaks to it and uh, we'll go over some of that like reverbs and stuff you can put those on your snares to make things sound distinctly 80s to give it that feel. <clears throat> so is my uh, audio quiet? Do you want me to turn it up a bit? Fuck, I watched this tutorial on streaming and they were saying to like keep your keep your OBS audio like around where the green and the orange meet. But that's negative 20 decibels. That's fucking quiet. Like so I don't know really what to go with. I mean, my gut just tells me, fuck it, they don't know what they're talking about. But I don't know why OBS would consider a green level of audio negative uh, 20. And then beyond that, it's like dangerous. Not dangerous, but just like it's yellow between negative 20 and negative 10. As, it, as in that's like, this is the caution area. Like you... You should think twice about letting your audio levels get to this point, even though that's actually pretty fucking quiet. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, I can turn the uh, I can turn the microphone up a little bit so you can hear me better. Um, 
John, your new picture looks like you can bench press the earth. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a slightly low angle. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of people in this chat who are just like, wow, really? The, the 80s thing? That's a little fucking overplayed, isn't it? It's, it's kind of dead. It's been done to death. But you're gonna you you insist on beating that head that dead horse, do you, John? Yes, I do, cause I don't fucking care. I think it's awesome. I love the aesthetic. I love the look. I love the palette. I love the colors. I love the nostalgia. I think it works for my show. And uh, whatever. I mean, if, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. But they're just graphics, whatever. That's not even the important thing. What am I talking about? Of course it's the most important thing. This podcast has great graphics. Therefore, it's a terrific show. Everyone knows that. That's how it works. Um, FL Studio 101 with Job Graham. That's right. That is right. Um... It's pretty good. Audio levels, you mean? Could be a smidge higher, but it's good as is. No, some people don't know how to turn up their volume. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just a bit louder. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll turn it up. So I'm gonna just, just going to crank this microphone all the way up. And uh, tell me if that sounds okay. Testing. One, two. One, 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 one. Testing. How are those levels? I mean, that that looks okay because, like, that's OBS in their software interface paints that as going into the red, but it's only hitting negative six, negative seven decibels. Like, that's not even peaking at all. I mean, the red is the red is always reserved for peaking. I don't know what the fuck they're doing with all this audio labeling it seems inaccurate i guess for like broadcast standards if like that's different and like you're supposed to like everything's by default supposed to be like 10 decibels less than what they would usually be because it's like live broadcasting so they they want to err on the side of caution like and not risk run the risk of playing something that's just blares and just destroys people's eardrums right like yeah i don't know i mean like something you know if you're broadcast if you're studio broadcasting live and then some somehow a video gets slipped into the programming queue where they haven't normalized their audio and so it sounds really loud in comparison to everything else if there wasn't some kind of offset to prevent that from screeching that could potentially like hurt people's ears and uh, damage their equipment and stuff so it makes sense i guess if you're lot you're you regularly broadcast live to tend to do things quieter just for the sake of caution but anyway that's a tangent that's completely irrelevant so well done me for doing that um what are we doing what the fuck are we doing we're doing an fl studio thing and like I said, it's not a, don't consider this like a masterclass tutorial on FL Studio. This is just the way I do things. This is the way I use FL Studio to make music tracks for RB and the Chief and my podcast. And yeah, so you can see my process and hey, maybe you can elaborate. Maybe you can su make suggestions even. Maybe I'll learn from this. Who knows? You know? So try not to think of this as like a fucking lecture or whatever i'm just like this is my process you can see what you think and maybe i'm doing something wrong or maybe i could do something different that i didn't think of before and and those who are totally new to music production but they think that they would like to get into it this would i think would be a good opportunity for them to see that this this shit really isn't that complicated and even if you're a novice you can make something that sounds pretty sweet so and I love this whole '80s retro wave aesthetic thing. So, so let's uh, let's just let's just do this, man. Is everyone good now? Are we ready? 
So I'm just catching up on chats here quickly. Sounds good. Okay, sweet. Um, hmm. Uh, oh, someone sent a super chat. Um, a cheeky otter says, are you ever going to go back to the original formula of comedy slash new plot per episode? I love the series, but I prefer the old eps. I don't know. Um, you say the original formula, but that is what's happening right now. I mean, episode, episode 12 had the comedic through line of Master Chief creating his own Halo movie because there wasn't a Halo movie out yet. That was the comedic plot of that episode, and that was mixed with the the more dramatic plot line of um, something sinister coming to fruition and into play in the form of this uh, skull face character that's like a, he's like a uh, it's like a virus character. It's it's not clear whether it's an actual person or a piece of malware that's just personified as this like red skull face guy. Um, so there's that, and then episode thirteen is actually following a very similar formula. Actually, the the comedy for episode thirteen, the comedy is all in. There's a the whole first act of the episode is a big comedy set piece, and then episode act act. Two and Act Three of Episode Thirteen are very plot focused, but not without jokes. It's still funny, but they're not. Uh, the first act is just entirely dedicated to a comedy set piece because I wanted, I wanted, I want, I wanted part of that episode at least to feel like the show could have fun without. Um, without being underpinned with the dramatic stuff quite yet. Like just to have some tension, fr like a tension-free act where we can just focus on the laughs and the comedy between these two characters. And then at the beginning of Act 2, then it gets more plotty, uh, even though there's still very much comedy throughout the whole thing and like a satire throughout the whole thing. Um, uh, there's not that dramatic underpinning, uh, in the first act, but anyway, um, so yeah, I, I think I'm still following that formula of comedy and plot, so I don't really understand that, but, um, I would hope you would rewatch the more recent ones and kind of see where I'm, what I'm doing with it. I really don't think the show has changed all that much. I don't know. <clears throat> but uh, thank you, Otter. I appreciate it. Captain Desi says, John, I'm the hello world guy. I created the virus, lol. You basted. Thanks, Captain Desi. What a what a basted. All right, let's 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 just fucking jump into this. Sorry, just going over uh, some chat quickly. We good. Okay, cool. No, there's no update from Machinima on Arby and the Chief. The whole th situation is fucking infuriating, and I'm still in the dark. So, Machinima pulled down a bunch of Arby and the Chief off their website, so there's no legal means of viewing my, my f five years of my web series. And, um... And that's just great. Good job, Machinima. Um, so let's just go into this production thing. Okay, so I might not be looking at the chat too much here because I'm focusing. So I've got a project open here right now, and um, I'm not really too happy with it yet, but I'll let you hear it if you want to hear what it sounds like quickly. It's just a really brief loop. Wait. 
you can't even hear that, can you? I got to unmute my desktop audio. So here it is again. Here's a little loop I was working on yesterday and today. Uh, hopefully this doesn't blow your ears off. So yeah, there you go. Kind of sucks. Still working on it. Anyway, that, that, that really wasn't complicated to make. That's just literally one VST, uh, different, uh, a couple different instruments in one VST, and then a bunch of kicks and snares and uh, cymbals from a pack, percuss percussion pack that I downloaded. Um, so, uh, not that complicated. I'll show you some other ones here. What's this one? Uh, some older ones I've been working on. Nah, that kind of sucks. Um, what about this one? Ah, oh, that sucks. All this sucks. Uh, what about this one? Oh, that's too fucking loud. That one sucks too. Okay. And that was New Dawn. That was the last track I put out. So that was that one. Um, you have exposed your composition. The world would now rip you off. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Um, so let's... Let's just start a new project. And so, okay, the aim of this project here is to recreate a track from episode, from season six slash seven of the show called Chaos Theosis. So I'm just I'm just gonna try to dig up that original track so we can listen to it and figure out how we're gonna replicate it. I'm I kinda know what instruments to use. Um let me just find the audio first. So we're going to go to personal season season seven. I can't remember what folder it's in. Yes. Letting it play for a while just because I want to get a sense of like all the instruments that come in because I want to find 
all the different instruments and incorporate them, right? So I want to listen to the track all the way through, most of the way through. It's almost done. <laughs> So I pretty much get it. So uh, what do you guys? Uh, what do you guys listed all the the instruments at some point? Um, I'm gonna go into Citrus and look at you guys can see all this shit, right? Is there anything I you I need to adjust? Everything looks good. So you can see I'm looking through... Uh, okay, so this is FL Studio 12, right? It's on its 12th version. I'm pretty sure you can get a free trial if you want. Um, you'll be able to use... It's not limited. It's just a time-based trial. So you can do whatever you want with the full version of it for like 30 days, and then you have to pay for it afterwards, and that's up to you. But um, I pay for it. and uh, Well, it's, it's a one-time thing. It's not a, it's not a subscription. And uh, I have FL Studio 12... And uh, and so it has all these presets built into FL Studio when you install it. So when you install it, you're going to find this on your left-hand menu here. And uh, under Channel Presets, or Plugin Presets, sorry. Plugin Presets, Generators, Citrus. And then you have all the different instrument types underneath Citrus. Citrus is the virtual instrument created by FL Studio. Or the, the virtual synthesizer, I should say. And then within that virtual synthesizer are all the different instruments that the synthesizer can emulate, right? And then each of those instruments has its own kind of... Uh, well, I suppose it's instruments within those and then, and then it's instrument type. So you, you have uh, your synthesizer and then your instrument type. And then all the instruments within those types, right? So um, we're going to go through our our um, deformed trance and total brokenness. Thanks, Austin. Uh, yeah, so these are the three. Um, um, these are the three instruments that uh, were used in the track you just heard. So we're going to see if we can make that track a bit better than the original. So um, we're going to grab deformed which is right there, it's an ARP. So if I hold down one of the notes on the deformed instrument, that's what it sounds like when you just hold down a key. But you can make that sound a lot different just by uh, making the notes very staccato, like one reoccurrence after another in quick su succession rather than just holding down one note, right? Um, so deformed, trance. Where the fuck is trance? Um, is that in strings? Synth string? No. Short synth? Yes, there it is. Deformed, trance... And what's the other one? Total Brokenness, which I think is a pad. No. Total Brokenness. ARP? No. Uh, what the fuck? Is it a bass? No. Son of a bitch. Um, this 
This is retarded. Why can't I find this? There it is. Fuck. So it's under uh, synth string. Okay. So synth string, total brokenness. Uh, I guess total brokenness one. We'll tr we'll bring two in there as well. See how it sounds. So you, these are all the controllers for each of the instruments that I just dragged in here. So you can see I got a kick. If I hold control and I tap one of these devices, I can hear it. So kick, clap, hat, <coughs> hat, snare, and then deformed. It plays a random note every time I click. So I'm holding control and I'm tapping the left mouse button on each of these. That's total brokenness one. And that's number two. Um, so, uh, okay, so, all right, let's get, uh, let's get the melodies down. So we're going to, we're going to do our trance melody first. So we're going to right-click trance and go piano roll. Make sure that's checked. And we're going to have the piano roll come up here. And then... I think it's a C. Uh, okay, there's a few different notes in there. A C is one of them. It's a C. How's the volume on this? Is this uh, is this annoying? Do you want do you want me to turn that down any? I'll just turn that down a little bit. John, the deformed I was talking about is in sort short synth. Amgu. Amgu. Okay, so there's different versions of, de of deformed. That's fine. It's not a big deal. I probably would have found that out anyway. But uh, thank you for being so vigilant. So deformed. There we go. There's the right one. We're going to drag that in there. We're going to delete this one. Don't need that anymore. Uh, let's go back to trance. I know the tempo's off, but we're going to fix that, obviously. Dun, 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 no, no. Okay, so kind of got that. How many viewers are we at? How many viewers are we at now? Like 10? 
This is a boring gay tutorial. This sucks. I'm out of here. I got better things to do, like beating off my dog. 73, wow. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going with this. So, let's bring that tempo down. Let's bring it to 90. Hmm. That might actually be 90, too. I, I didn't think I was right about that, but that might actually be it. Um... Um, okay, so we've got another layer to uh, put in here. So let's do another pattern. So I'm going to hover over the pattern uh, scroll box here, right up here. I'm going to flick the mouse button, or the, uh, the mouse wheel, up and go to pattern 2. And when we're going to go to the piano roll on the same trance instrument, but we're on a different pattern layer now, so we can paint new notes that will overlap with the other pattern. Um, so, okay, so right now the, uh, the playback uh, cursor is on the individual pattern level, but we want it to be playing uh, for a single pattern, I mean, but we want it to be playing all patterns at once. So we're going to go into our master timeline here. And we're gonna move our playhead over into the into here and hit space. Okay, now we're in this. So I'm gonna go to pattern one. I'm gonna use the mouse wheel to go there again. And um, uh, because I'm on this pattern, I can I can paint that pattern on our uh, playlist here. So I'm, I can paint a block, right? So this block contains all those notes we just painted for that instrument. You can have multiple notes for multiple instruments on one block if you want, but I tend not to do that just because what I'm doing is much more simpler than, uh, than, a, sophist than a typical sophisticated FL Studio project file. So I don't really need multiple instruments on one pattern, and it just helps me better visualize what, like how the whole song is assembled when each pattern block has its just its own instrument that I can go in and edit. So I prefer to do it that way. So um, let's uh, just one of those is fine. So we're going to hit play. Okay, now we need another layer of notes in there. So let's just play the original again. Okay, so that's easy. Uh, so let's go into pattern two. And we're going to paint a block for pattern two right here. And I'm going to stack it over top pattern one. And I'm going to open up Trance in the Piano Roll. And then... I think it needs to be an octave lower. So I'm going to bring these down. There we go. That's it. So... Duh. Dun 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 You know what? I am just gonna copy all this shit, paste that shit, bring it up one and then move it over here and that's just gonna loop over and over so there we go we got our we got our trance part of the song done
Um, I got to go to the bathroom again. Sorry, guys. Bathroom. We'll be back after uh, a quick break. Um, just give me a few minutes, okay? Let me, let me urinate piss out of my penis. And um, I'll be back as soon as that process is complete. Um, thanks for waiting. Welcome back. Ah, oh, fuck. That producer slate again. Well, anyway, I'd like to take this moment to thank, once again, our beautiful Patreon producers over here. Look at all these heroes. <clears throat> anyway, um, what am I doing? There's a few memes. There's some memes that I forgot to turn off. You guys like my memes, right? It's not totally fucking lame and stupid. Like this. This is pretty cool, right? Wow. Wow, what a great show this is. A show that has all these spicy epic memes and graphics. That's the mark of a quality show. Look at that. It's funnier every time it happens. I can't believe how fucking funny these memes are. Don't like that meme? How about a uh, falling money meme? This is a pretty epic meme. Or uh, the hilarious KO meme. KO! 
Don't worry, the memes don't end there. There's more memes where that came from. Stay tuned for more epic memes. Um, what the fuck am I doing? We're doing a tutorial. Which is right here. So, um, I'm getting distracted here. Uh, hope you guys like the dank memes. I hope it's, uh, you guys think it's totally not lame and stupid. Um, here we go. So we just did the trance and so now let's, uh, let's look at the bass. That bass, yo. So let's listen to the original track. Okay, well, I, I don't even know if I, like, we'll try and rec replicate that, but we'll we'll probably improve on that, too. And I don't know if I like the the sequence of notes on that. We could make that a little bit better, I think. So, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. So, uh, that, I'm pretty sure, is the deformed short synth instrument. And this is a C. And uh, we don't want that too low. Oh, no, that's right. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. <laughs> this is how sandstorm was made. Da 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 da. There we go, and that loops over and over. So we're gonna cut that from pattern two. We're gonna go into pattern three. We're gonna paste that. Okay, good. So we're going to go into our master timeline. So we have pattern one and two there. Those are the two trans things. So that's good. You know, this would be a case where the smart thing to do would just to put these two on, a, on the same pattern block. Um, just because at no point are these patterns going to be played individually. They're always going to be played in a pair. So I might as well just put them in the same block. But just for the sake, so like you guys can see the notes clearly, I'll just leave it the way it is. So they're all they're both on their own individual track and pattern block right now. So we're going to go into pattern three. There's our deformed, and we're going to put that in there. And we're going to paint it twice because uh, this pattern is uh, uh, half the length of the other two that we've made. So we're just going to have that same pattern repeat for the bass. And then uh, we'll play that and see how it sounds. Oh, shit. Desktop audio is muted. My bad. So um, here's what we have. Okay, so getting there. Trance and deform, that's done. So let's look at uh, let's look at the original track again. Okay, well the kicks are fucking easy. Let's just go to pattern four, paint a pattern, open our piano roll for the kick, put some fucking kicks in there. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. And uh, we'll just repeat that three more times on the master playlist. 
crank them shits up. So I'm going to increase the volume of the kicks on the volume tab here. Or the volume knob, which is right here. Crank that shit up. This, le this one on the left is balanced, by the way. So if you want to favor a sound coming out stereo left rather than stereo right or vice versa, you would fuck around with this. But I don't want to do that. Um, so here's what we have. So let's let's put our snares in there as well. We'll put that on another pattern as well. So pattern five, we'll put a thing there. Open our piano roll for the snare. So every second uh, one of these. And then we'll paint that pattern over and over. And crank them shits up. Okay, so let's go back to our original file here. I'm listening to the hats. So um, let's open our hats here. Dum da da dum da dum da dum 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 da dum da dum dun dun something like that. Let's just listen to those hats again on the original. go that's it so that's my hat pattern and you can see um, there's four pattern blocks being laid down but they're stacking over top one another because the pattern length is too long so we're gonna take those out we just want one there and one there and let's play that back <laughs> Those, uh, oh, I fucked up. So the hat and the snare, the hat and the snares, the hats and the snares are both on the same pattern block, and that's fucking me up. So let's cut the hat out of here. Let's go to pattern six, put it on its own thing, paint that there, go back to pattern five. Oh, the pattern's fine. We just need to paint the gaps that we deleted. So there we go. Paint another hat thing there and here we go okay how are we all doing so far everybody enjoying this hope uh People are liking this. They don't think it's totally boring and gay. You should just add a bunch of extra sounds like activate and screams and glass breaking and a couple of gunshots. Oh, yeah. That's gangster. That shit's gangster. Is this more Patreon stuff or this will be free on your YouTube channel? Yeah, I'll just put it up on my YouTube channel. That's fine. Um, the new one sounds better. Yeah, well, I don't even like those hats. Like, we'll play around with those kicks and s hats and snares with diff... Like, well, s the notes stay the same, but you can switch out the instrument, right? So, 
in an instant, I can hear the same notes played in a, with a completely different instrument without having to change the notes. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But um, so we, we got that far. So let's go back to um, I'm trying to get pictures of my friend's girlfriend's panty stains while I have this on. Going great. <laughs> That's hot. Um, let's, uh, let's go to the original track here and, um, figure out what the next thing is. Okay, uh, so maybe this is total brokenness, I think. So this is probably the my favorite part of the whole track is this particular instrument. And uh, I did redo this track for the Season 8 soundtrack, but I used a different instrument because I couldn't find this one before, and it didn't sound as good. So it'll be nice to like do the track a third time, but this time using the original instruments that were good good but then also making this track better in its own way as well so uh, we'll do that afterwards so let's let's listen to tonal brokenness <laughs> hmm. so let's let's just paint out the notes first of all um Da, da, da. So it's a B, I think. Oh no, it's a C, never mind. This is not a good instrument to test this out with. Um, Da, 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 da. Badass and cool. Um. Ba, da, 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 da. It's deformed. Okay, sorry. Pasted it into deformed. Okay, so you can kind of hear it there, but I think it's an octave too low, so we're going to bring this up. So we're going to move this up to C6. Hmm. Well, let's just finish off these notes here. but uh well not awesome getting there that's not quite it though that's uh 
Let's bring this down an octave again. Uh, let's bring this down to C5. Let's turn off the transfer now. Yeah, that's too low. Um. Hmm. Anyway, th I don't think this is the right instrument. Uh, let's paste it into Total Brokenness 2, see how that sounds. So I'm paste the exact same notes. I'm copying all the notes and pasting them into a new instrument here. So, And we'll, we're going to go to Pattern. What the fuck are we doing? Pattern 6 has the hats, and so we're going to cut this out. And we're going to go to pattern 7 and paste it in there. Lay this out. See, that's actually not bad either. You know, you can do a lot of interesting things. Like, when if you have a melody worked out and you know all the notes for, like, the... Like, you got the kicks in there, you got some hats, you got some snares, you got a melody... Even if you don't know what the instrument is, if you've got the melody in your head, you can throw that in there. And then once the notes are in there, you can switch the instrument out for whatever the fuck you want and just listen to the exact same notes with a whole new instrument like instantly and just keep switching instruments until you find something that's cool, right? So... Um, so same note set. But I can grab another instrument from here, the left side, and I can drag it over that and replace that instrument and then hear the exact same notes with that new instrument. Okay, so there's that. But we got to find the right instrument. It's That's not the one. Um, I don't know which one it is. Shit. Uh, let's try the ARP version of... Let's just try some ARPs. I'm gonna try Troll. No, but I have used that. No. Maybe that one on a higher octave. I don't know. No. Uh, saw to square. actually quite like that one but uh, it's not the one I'm looking for I just want to find the original one just let's just replicate the track and um, if anyone knows the instrument please let me know
action. No. What fucking one was it? Jesus Christ. Uh. Transcorder? Definitely not. Uh, toolbox? No. Shit. P PWM saw? There we go. That's it. I think. Let's listen to the original again. Oh no, that's not it. No. That's what I thought it was when I made the remix. No. Shit. Hoovenator? No. Um feedback saw. Fat texture. Fucking hell, I know it's one of these. Um, shit. It had a funny name, too. Uh, um, let me just, let me think for a second. Shit. I can't fucking remember which one it is. This sucks. Um. Mm. I don't know. Let me just look over the chat here. Let me get to some super chats. Hang on. I think I'm a bit behind. Um. Jojo97 says, going to put this track on your SoundCloud once it's finished, John? Yeah, of course. That's a good idea. Matthias Chrome says, if someone calls you a cuck after this sexy new logo change, then they're a super cuck. I agree. The show is definitely good because it has good graphics. This is a quality show. Quality. Um, is it possible that FL got rid of the original instrument? I don't see why they would. It's I think it's just one of them, and I forget which one it is. 
Um, let me just keep going here. Uh, oh, wow, 78 viewers. Jesus. I'm going to try all the pads because I'm pretty sure it's a pad. You know what? I want to say Hoovenator as the uh, the name of the instrument, and I don't recall seeing it. Maybe it's one they, maybe it is one they took out. That might not be it though. I can't remember. Shit. It was definitely in Citrus. There's no Hoovenator in there. Oh, Hoovenator. In synth string. Maybe this is it? No, that's not it. Fuck. It's not even it. God, I know it's in here. It's fucking in here somewhere. Son of a bitch. Uh... if it's in brass maybe it's one of these <laughs> Fuck my ass with a rubber dick. With a big floppy wiener. 
How long has this podcast been going? Well, we we stopped the podcast a while ago, and then I started a new video, which is this FL Studio tutorial, which is a disaster right now because I can't find the next fucking instrument. Um, John, you're just giving me ideas on how to remix this now. Oh, well, that's good. Um, It's deformed, but maybe you changed it up a bit. Maybe you're right. Maybe, uh... Let me look at deformed. Because you're right, that does sound familiar. Must have put some kind of bounce. Like I, I added some kind of curve to like the note, like the waveform in like an effect, and I can't remember exactly what I did to tweak it. I must have just like turned one particular knob all the way in one direction. I can't remember which one it would be. Well, let's play around with this for a while. Hang on. I did to it short synth deformed lol all right well I'll try that one I think you're right, Austin. It's got, uh, it's something I did to this sound. And I'm not quite sure what it is that I did to it. 
Um, hang on a minute. Captain Desi says, is this producer or signature edition of FL? Um, I don't know. Producer edition. Um, I don't even re remember what the difference is. I think I just saw that the producer edition had all the stuff that I needed to use, so... I think the signature edition comes with a bunch of extra plugins and stuff. And I was like, I don't need those. Like whatever, whatever I want to use that's not built in, like I could probably find on the internet for free. So whatever. Um, like, like synth one and SQL. Um, how you guys doing? Should we keep going here? Part of it, adjusting this knob on the filter here. I don't even, I don't have a fucking clue what this knob is called. I don't know what this is <laughs> exactly. I don't know the terminology. All I know is if I move the dial this way or that way, it sounds this way or that way, right? So this is how I work on FL Studio. <laughs> Almost like the kind of damaged 8 bits, damaged 16 bit kind of chip tune that's going on here with uh, playing around with this audio, right? So I don't think I'm going to get it to sound exactly like it was because I just can't remember what effects I did to it. But um, I, I can still do something interesting to it. <laughs>
shit, man. Well, I don't know what I did to it. Fucking thing. I wish I knew. Fuck. Jones just having fun at this point. Well, I'm trying to figure out what I did to the noise. I thought I might find it eventually, but it's not in there. Well, I mean, it must, must, must be somewhere in there, but I can't fucking find it. Um, John, do you still have the OG project files for this tracker? No, no, I don't. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. Otherwise, I would just load that up, obviously. Um, what the fuck? It's not letting me post emojis. Oh, no. We got to be able to post emojis. Um, it needs more spicy memes. Oh, you guys want memes, do you? How about epic deal with it glasses meme? Oh, I guess it helps for my face to be on there as I do that. Whoops. What a terrible meme execution. Let's just go to podcast mode. And let's go to the memes. Look at that spicy meme. Deal with it. Wow. Just wow. What a good fucking show this is. Um, here we go. Let's turn that off. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that, but there you go. Uh, let's go back to <laughs> this one. Okay. So let's listen to our whole thing here. God damn it. I'm pretty sure that's the right instrument, but uh, there's something I did to it before that I can't replicate. Um, but you know what? Fuck it. Because why don't we just try something different with it? So I'm, I'm going to apply the same notes to some new instruments from SQ8L and Synth1. So these are two VSTs that I want to show you guys if you guys would like to to see you guys want me to keep going you cool with this I can show you uh, SQ8L and synth one two virtual instruments which are very cool to have and they're both free so um, what you can do is if you have FL studio and you don't have whoops and you don't have these instruments, um, what you can do is, um, so you're going to want to find the VST files online. And you can just go to Google and type in SQ8L, for example. And uh, you'll see links to SQ8L uh, VST plugin. And uh, if you download it, I'm just going to download it myself and see what it comes up with. Um, where the fuck is it? So you'll come across the download page eventually if you do a search for it. And um, just download the latest version that they have there. This is for SQ8L in particular, and you're going to get a zip file. And within that zip file, you're going to get a DLL file and a folder called SQ8L. So I'll just I'll show you. Um, 
Oh no, I just I won't do that. I'll just uh, you download SQ8L. It'll it'll be a zip folder. You open it up with WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you use, and you'll find a DLL file in there, and then an INI file. But I don't think you need. That's not the important thing. The important thing is to copy the DLL file over to your VST plugins folder that's in your uh, the the default directory for for FL Studio is C program files x86 image line FL Studio 12 and then uh, there's a folder in there called plugins and under plugins there's a folder called VST and in VST is where you put all your DLLs that you want to use. So the SQ8L DLL that I downloaded, you drag your DLL file into that VST folder uh, in the program files directory. So you find the VST folder, drag SQ8L.DLL in there, and Synth1. Synth1, if you download that from Google, Google that's going to have its own uh, DLL file as well. So you drag that into the same folder, right? And then after you do that, that's not the end of the process. So if you want to actually use the plugins, what you have to do is then go back into FL Studio here. You go to FL Studio, you go into your settings, whatever the fuck settings, I don't know, somewhere in here. Um, you go... You go to uh, File... The file tab, plugins, manage plugins, and then you're gonna get a you're gonna get a get a window that looks like this. So what you do is you hit the start scan button, and it's gonna scan your VST folder, well your whole image line folder I think, uh, for DLLs for plugins that haven't been installed yet. So you're gonna scroll down. And see, I have SQ8L and Synth1 VST at the bottom here, right? So I already have them installed. But if you just put the DLL files in there and it's just now finding them, you're going to see these listed, but you're going to see that don't, they don't have a check mark next to them. So you're going to want to enable those. And then you click Apply or whatever. And then um, you should then be able to load the... Uh, from there, you should be able to ins just drag the in the the synthetic instruments right in there. So I'm going to do that again for the sake of uh, showing you. So I'm going to once once the install process that I just showed you is done, you go to Add, and then you go to um, where the fuck is it? SQ8L. You're just going to see it there in the list. So you click that SQ8L, and then Synth One VST. They're both in there, right? So let's look at SQ8L. So I'm going to copy these notes out of Deformed. I'm going to mute that for now. I'm going to mute this for now as well, Trance. So right now, just the kicks, the snares, and the hats are playing. So we're going to paste these notes into SQ8L. And as I cycle through instruments within the SQ8L VST, you're going to hear the different types of instruments with the same note set. So here we go. Okay, that doesn't work. Let's try this one.
All right, so you get the idea. So there's about there's over a, there's at least a hundred instruments in SQ8L that are you can find a pretty good one in there that suits what whatever track you're going for. But uh, I actually know the ideal set of instruments to look th through for this particular instrument for this particular track that we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna go this time into synth one. So synth one is a different VST. Uh, we're going to open a different sound bank. So, um, so you're, you're going to, when you have, when you open up via synth one like this, right, you're going to want to go to options first, and then you're going to want to, uh, download a bunch of synth one presets and then link up your presets wherever whatever folder has the presets in them in it you go here and you in, you connect that folder to the synth one vst so it knows where to look for the presets basically right and so i have a folder full of synth one presets that i downloaded and they're all in the form of zip files so let's go external zip and these are all the presets that i have installed and so we're gonna go through one called uh dog meat saws and there's some really fucking gnarly sounds in here um the the problem with these is that a lot of them are completely off pitch so for you have to settle on an instrument that you want and then it's going to sound totally out of tune so then you've got to place it on whatever notes make it sound the way you want it like so a C isn't going to be a C. Like if you paint a C note on one of these with one of these instruments, it's not going to play as a C. It's going to be warped. So you have to you have to put it on some wrong, incorrect, fucked up note to get it to actually sound the way you want. So I'll just show for example, let's go to the first saw here. Here's how it sounds by default. <laughs> So let's hear how this sounds. I'm going to paste the notes into this instrument. I'm going to cut them out of the other one. Kind of cool, but the tone is way off. There's no, like, no melody to it. So let's try it. I'm just going to cycle through some different saws here, and you can hear how they sound. actually quite like that one. Let's try that on a lower octave, see how it sounds. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Um let's uh let's try and get it to sound I don't think that's the right notes. What are we going for? Here's the original. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. That's pretty cool, right? What do you guys think of that? I actually like that a bit better. So you can see how I put it on a different scale there 
to get it to sound originally the way it was. Just be, it's because those instrument sounds are so warped that it it warps the pitch along with it. So you've got to compensate for that on the note placement. Um. Let's try the trance in there. Where the fuck is my bass? Did I delete it? Um. Oh, I guess I deleted my bass. Whatever, it sucked anyway. Um. Let me just put it in there again. off okay what am I doing okay so in pattern three I'll put my bass in there open the piano roll do that I wish I knew what the what I did to the original deformed. I d there's something I don't like about the way they're mixed. I like this on its own. Okay, let's let's do some volume mixing here. So um, let's let's just bring all the volume for all the tracks right down, and just do one at a time here. So I'm gonna bring up our trance, and I'm gonna cap that off, and I'm gonna crank it up until it starts hitting about negative twelve. That's what I try to put everything, all every individual instrument at. And then when everything's played together, usually it's it caps at about negative three decibels, which is good. Uh, so I'm gonna bring that down one. Just gonna raise my own personal headphones volume for a second. And then I'm gonna bring this volume down a bit so I can you can hear me talking and I'm gonna bring my headset down a little bit so I can hear myself talking <laughs> and then we're gonna what are we gonna do so that's at negative 12 so let's bring up our uh, our baseline Let's mute the trance. Let's bring the bass up to negative 12. That's good. Even bring that down a little bit. And then uh, synth one. Let's bring that up.
All right, and all together. So we need to bring our trans volume up a little bit. It's being drowned out by the other ones. So I'm going to do some mixing here and try to get uh, all the different uh, the different instruments balanced here. So I'm just going to turn my own headphones volume up. And uh, I'm just going to work on this for, for a few minutes. Okay, so that's mixed better a little bit, and um, so now we're gonna we're gonna put our kicks in there. So let's uh, let's crank our kick volume up. Okay. Ugh, gets repetitive, doesn't it? Listening to the same patter for five hours, but that's that's the process, you know. Um, so let's uh, let's replace the kick with something better. So that's that's the default that FL Studio comes with. So we want a better one than that. So let's look at. Uh, um, Okay, so if you go, if you're in FL Studio, right, and you open General Settings and you go to File, here, this is where you um, you insert your directory for audio assets outside of FL Studio that you want to use in the program. So my directory is uh, uh, E Projects Audio. F is an old one. I don't. Uh, I don't use that drive letter anymore. I think it's E now. So E projects audio is where I have a bunch of like uh, other sound effects and like kicks, like packs, packs that have kicks and hats and snares. They're all in that folder. So I'm connecting that folder to this software, right? So once you attach 
a, a, a directory in here. You'll see it on your left-hand menu here. So audio, this is my audio folder. And uh, I have these Vengeance uh, Volume 1 and 2. These are full of kicks and hats and snares that I use. So I like to do Volume 2 um, usually. I'll, but I'll go through both of them each time to find something that I want. But let's just look at Volume 2. And we'll go into the kicks and we'll go to hard kicks. I want something hard for this, for this track in particular. So let's just go through them. So this is number one. And I, if I tap down, up and down uh, on the keyboard, like the arrow keys, I can cycle through each of the kicks one at a time and it'll play the kick for me. So I'll just show you. So I can like quickly decide what kick I want to use. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to cycle through until I find a kick that I like for this track. I like that one. So how about let's drag that into the kick over my kick here. And so that instrument's replaced, but it's the same notes. So can't really hear the difference right now, but let me just mute everything else. So that's our kick. So let's find a, let's find a better snare. So let's play our snare. Okay, that snare sucks. So let's find it. Let's find a better one. So let's pick number one here and just cycle through them until we find a snare that we like. Try that one. Hmm, maybe. So let's uh, let's try some let's put some interesting hats in there. So let's unmute our hats. So I just selected our hats, and so now we're gonna go into our symbols. We're going to go to closed hi-hats, and then we're just going to cycle through until we find something cool. Maybe that one. No, it's too tinny. Let's try a different one. Probably not, but let's just try it. No, it's a little too harsh. Yeah, that's all of them. 
start from the beginning again. No. It's not bad. I don't know. What do you guys think? Well, let's listen to it with like all the things. So, all the things. Uh, let's delete the clap. We don't need that. Uh, let's turn everything on. Fire everything! Here we go. There. Um, <clears throat> I was I was doing some leveling there, so I brought down the hats and the snares a little bit. But I kept I the the kicks are like a hundred percent volume just because I want the kicks to really hit hard. So um Yeah, that's already capping it, capping it about zero decibels, so I don't need to bring the master volume up at all. I might even bring it down a little bit, just to make sure there's no peaking. But, um... Uh, what else should I do to this track? You know what, uh, I can play around with this track a bit more, but before we do anything, I have to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to do that, and um, I will be right back. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Podcast mode. Oh, shit. Still getting the hang of this. Oh, look at those spicy memes. Wow. Um... So turn off the glasses. What else? What do we need? Um, turn off. That guy can turn off that stupid countdown thing. Actually, no. Okay, the See Me After Class podcast will be back after these fucking messages.
never gets old. We're back, folks. We're back. Oh. Um, <clears throat> do you guys want me to keep dicking around with that track? Would you rather I did something else now? I don't. I'm not gonna stream for too much longer. It's getting late, but um, I can stick around for a little bit longer. Um, <clears throat> I wish John could just compose the soundtrack to my life. Um, bunch of people wants they want to see how the slow ambient stuff is made. That stuff's super easy. I mean, you thought this shit was easy? Easy? That stuff's even easier. But I mean, I mean the actual composition. I mean, that's that's something that takes some soul searching and and exploring of your own feelings to come up with, and that's hard work, you know. But once you've got the melody in mind, like that's really the hard. That's really the heavy lifting of the whole thing, you know. Once you you throw that all, sh all, that shit into a sequencer, it's pretty easy from then from then on. Um, watch the Venom trailer, fag. Um, I don't I don't want to do that in the FL Studio. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna do that sort of thing, I'd rather do a new video. But it's getting too late for that anyway. Um, but um. Is that like a Comic Con trailer? I already saw I saw the first trailer of Venom already. Anyway, um So what do you what, let's see what you guys want to do. Um Um I'd like you to create hyperline slash full force. Hmm. John, can we see the less than three track? Let me just see what's. Uh, let me see. Let me see what less than three is. I can't remember. Um, let me just bring it up here. S unmute the desktop audio and let's go to. Playlists, RB and the Chief, uh, less than three. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Less than three, less than three. Where the fuck is it? Is Less Than 3 Season 8? I should know this shit. I thought that was one of my Season 8 tracks, but I guess I'm wrong. Well, shit. Um, let me look at my chat here. Hyperline, if that's okay. Uh, maybe, I don't know. It's on YouTube. It's a season, it's a season five track. You hack fraud. John is trying to be like Weezer now. What the fuck are you talking about? Season, okay, season five. Less than three, it's on YouTube.
Okay, yeah, that shit's super easy. I mean, it does sound like shit, but, like, I think there's some decent harmonizing in there. It's just with really shitty piano, synthetic piano and strings. But it's easy to make. Um... But yeah, I, I can, uh, I don't, I don't have the, that, that's an old ass track. I don't have the project file for that though. Is that, you, do you want me to make something like that or that track? Or maybe there's a better example. I might even, if it's something recent, I might even have the project file for it and I can just show you. Um, I don't know, can you make any other recommendations? Um, you used to be rock and now you're pop garbage. Disappointed. <laughs> how am I pop garbage now? And how did, how was I rocking before? While I was working for Machinima? Yeah, Machinima really rocks. They really rock the house. I thought it was really cool when they, they took away a billion of their own views by purging themselves of all their old content. I thought that was really rockin'. It's a pretty rock and roll thing to do. Um, show us something moving then, fam. Um, John gets a lot of donations and thinks he's hot shit. Oh yeah, I have such an inflated opinion of myself now. Because I can make it rain with super chat money. That's all I do off camera. I just roll around in your super chat money all day. Rubbing all the bills all over my naked oiled body. Mmm, super chats. Mmm, yeah. Boy, I wish I was more like Weezer. <laughs> um, let me go through my old project. I'll go to my oldest project file and I'll see what I can show you. Um, let's uh, let's save what we've done so far. So let's call that test four one four. So that's that. Let's open up 400. What is that? Oh, that's garbage. That's just something I was working on. It didn't go anywhere. Um, what about this one? Oh, that sucks. Um, 402.
Okay, that was an old... That was one that I was working on, but I didn't release it. And I uh, actually really like that one, but um, it doesn't really harmonize. The, the two melodies don't really harmonize together. Um, so I, I was meaning to work on that one a bit more. I'd rather do that one on my own, though. So it's a different creative process when I'm on my own doing this as opposed to broadcasting this live, right? So I'd rather just do this one on my own. Um, but yeah, I, I quite like that. That was cool. I got I got to finish that one. That was a good one. Um, let me do... Let me just keep going through my projects here. Um, where the fuck are my project files? God damn it. Um, image line, FL Studio 12. Data? No. Shit. Uh, for Christ's sake. Where are my project files? This is fucking ridiculous. Where are these coming from? Data and then the projects folder. Okay, fuck. There we go. Um, 404. No, that sucks. Okay, so that was a loop I was working on. So that's a pretty good ambient example and super easy. It's literally one instrument, warm, which is I think I think it's a citrus pad. So if we go to plug in presets, citrus uh warm. I think it's a pad. Yeah, so pad warm, just drag warm in there, right? Uh, it's already in there, so I don't need to do it again. Let's go to the piano roll for warm. So it's basically these four notes, this chord, right? So G, E, C, and another G. So you just play those four notes together. The G goes, all the other notes stay the same, but the G goes down to an F right here, back up to a G, and then up to an A. And then finally, one of these harmonizing notes shifts from an E to an F. And it stays like that. So it's really the uh, uppermost ones that are, it's only that one that's changing. So let's just go through this.
and then that just loops over and over. So by the end, it's uh, F, E, played together. And then C, C, G, C, F, E, you play all those together. get some really nice uh ambient effects you know and it's so fucking easy to make you know like if i if i want if i have like a musicless scene but it has a lot of emotion in it like it's written that way and i just want to whip up something ambient i can literally just do this load up fl studio drag in a pad put a chord in there a bunch of different notes play them all at the same time see if it sounds good make small adjustments drag notes around like this G, right? If I were to put this as a G sharp, let's see how that would change the sound. See, there's some dissonance there. So that's actually, it's not necessarily bad. It depends what you're going for, right? So that might actually work if you're trying to like if you have a scene that's like emotional and sweet, but there's something uncanny and sinister that you're also trying to emphasize, you're trying to establish that it's in play, whatever the sinister or uncanny thing is in the scene that's maybe it's like subtextual or something. I don't know. It's a really uneasy feeling. So you need to ground it with something proper in this case. So a G, just a, not a G sharp, but just a G. It's more comforting, right? And then the C, if we change that, that adjusts the whole mood of the thing. So if we made that a B sharp, or not a B sharp, just a B. All of a sudden, it's more grim, right? But uh, if we keep that at a C, it's more uplifting. Or let's play around with the E. What if that was a D sharp? It's almost creepy. Villainous. Uh, what about if we just keep going down? What if it's a D? I actually quite like that. It's 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 uh it's uh it's actually pretty harmonious and it's got that same uplifting feeling but it's not quite what we had before, right? So I'm just going to put it back the way it was. Yeah, so there's that. I just hear mediocre music. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You're so unsatisfied. Why don't you go listen to Weezer's new album? You love those guys, right? This is 406. Let's see what this is.
I just, I really like that one too. That was one I made for Polly Frost. So for Polly Frost, imagine imagine like uh, imagine Batman Beyond. Like a show like that with animals and hyper violence with like the plot of and cliffhangers of 24 with a soundtrack like this and like like car- some Carpenter Brute and to- Calm Trues and guys like that for like the soundtrack. That's you can see what I was going for there with Polly Frost if I tell you that. Um that's what I was going for. But I think I'm going to use this track for Arby and the Chief as well. Really works. Um let's keep going here. It's another Polly Frost track, but I would pr- I would use this for Arby and the Chief as well. that one as well um that's just me fucking around there that one sucks it's new dawn sucks well the melody is okay but it needs a lot of work um i think we've kind of seen them all now yeah we've done these ones that one sucks And that's what I was working on today. So uh, this or last night and today. So um, I'll just show you some of the instruments here. So these are just the kicks and snares. So that's that's the kick. That's the hit. Just the the hats. Just really simple stuff. The, here's the snare. And here's, uh, this is my bass line. It's uh, unison bass, or bass. So in the Synth 1 VST, there's a preset, a list of presets called uh, BWWD's Gold. This is also known as Gold Bank. And uh, if you go into this, and it's it's uh, instrument number 86, unison bass, bass. And so that's what And then uh there's uh what's this one? This is also synth one, but this is uh this is in a uh preset package called Neko's the eighties and it's an instrument called zero one hundred lead.
and there that's another layer of hats that are, that's on there so yeah a lot of people tend to overthink this shit you know they think making this kind of music so complicated like oh i could never be a I mean, it's 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 so fucking easy. Like, if you have a melody in your head, right? Just throw the melody in the synthesizer. Who cares what the instrument is? Just get the notes in there. And then put it over top a bass line that you think sounds cool. And then throw some hats and snares and kicks in there. Play it back. And then you might actually be surprised by how cool it is. So this is everything playing together. needs some work the melody needs work but uh, i like the sounds it's i think it's coming together kind of nicely um anyway uh you guys get it right you've seen enough of fl studio for a while i think it's uh i think it's i think i'm going to call this stream quits for today i think we've been going on for a while I think I've done like five hours, six hours today. It's quite a lot. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope this was beneficial to you. I hope there's some people among you who maybe were, th were thinking about getting into music production and you thought twice, but then you saw this and you're like, oh, maybe I'll give that a shot, you know? Just go and grab a trial of... Uh, a free trial of FL Studio and just fuck around with it. Just do what I showed you. Get the plugins in there. Play around with those. Watch Venom. Everyone wants me to watch the Venom trailer before I go. Okay, fine. I'll watch Venom. Let's do it. Let's do this. Um, let's go to podcast mode. And let's mute the... Actually, no. I want to keep that on. Let's uh, let's find this fucking Venom trailer. So is this the Comic-Con? I thought this was Comic-Con only. Did they release that trailer now to the public? Oh, wow. They actually put the second official trailer out. Uh, I haven't seen this yet. This will be this will be cool. I'm actually very... I'm very excited about this movie, so... Um, let's turn the volume up a little bit. Let's drag this over here. Let's go full screen and we'll switch. Uh, we'll play this. We'll put this screen up. Boom. There we go. I'll bring the chat up here. Here we go. John Graham's epic reaction to the Venom trailer. L L epic a reaction video. XD. XDDDB. Okay, here we go. Um, okay. Okay. We are Venom. I'm Eddie Brock. I'm a reporter. I always seem to find myself questioning something the government may not be looking at. I found something really bad. And I have been... Who said that? Who said that? Taken. Look around at the world. What do you see? A planet on the brink of collapse. Human beings are disposable. But man and symbiote combined. This is a new race, a new species. A higher life form. What do you want from me? You'll find out. I'm so sorry. We cannot just hurt people. Look into my eyes, Eddie. The way I see it. We can do whatever we want. Do we have a deal? Eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. That power, it's 
not completely awful. You have no idea how much you're scaring me right now. Eddie, cooperate. And you just might survive. Guys, you do not want to do this, trust me. Giant leaps will always come at a cost. Say, yeah. Name is Chen. <laughs> uh, dude, I I would watch that. That looks fucking awesome. I think that looks cool. Holy shit, the cliches. Ah, uh, whatever. My show is full of cliches. Who gives a shit? That was pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, sorry, I got to catch up on some super chats here before we go. Um, Jojo 97, John, show us your fap folder after this. No, that's private. Thanks, Jojo. Lone Star says, John, when I mentioned Sonic's ass game, that was Naughty Dog's original title for Crash Bandicoot. I thought you would get the joke. <laughs> really? So, I, d I did not know that. That's interesting. Um, I'll look into that. That's cool. But anyway, uh, that does it for this stream. Uh, I'm going to play my producer reel for my uh, the people on Patreon one more time. So uh, here we go. The heroes. All the people supporting me, $20 patrons. I appreciate the help and uh, all the support you guys have given me. It's been really helping. And uh, I'm slowly growing. Slowly taking over the internet. One episode at a time. So thank you for enabling me to do that. And thank you for all your super chats, obviously. Boom, there we go. Um, so thank you to those people. And uh, what else do we have that I wanted to show you? Uh, nope, that's it. So how's everyone doing? Everyone tired? Everyone's just about ready to go, huh? Let's call this, call it a night. Good night, John. Thank you for not being a cuck. Oh, thanks for not calling me one. The facial animation on Venom is fucking fantastic, not gonna lie. The way his eyes move when he talks is fucking awesome. I agree, they really nailed it. That was cool, man. That's what Spider-Man 3 should have been. Anyway, thanks thanks a lot, everyone, for your support. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. More streams to come. Almost done my studio, so I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, RB and the Chief, episode 13, still working on that. I'll keep you updated on that, too. And, um, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you, see you all later. Thanks, and have a good night. Going offline now. Oh, there's a bit of a there's a post show. That I'm just gonna let it play out. So if you guys just want to hang out and chat, if you guys are freaks and you like doing that sort of thing, 
I'm going to leave it online for a bit, but like it's like an offline p- post show role, you know, with some music and some trailers. So I'm just going to leave that running and you guys can chat and hang out if that's what you want to do. Like in the chat, I know a bunch of you like to do that, linger around in the chat and role play or whatever the fuck it is you guys do in here. Freaky role play. You're sexting all that shit. Oh, yeah, the the countdown explosion. Okay, sure, I'll do that one more time. How epic is this? Um, videos. Wow, how epic. How epic and awesome. All right, going offline now. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.
I am the artificial intelligence of the cargo ship truth and reconciliation's perfect algorithm of computer. You've been alone for a long time, haven't you? I do not feel. You sure about that? Can you recite your current mission objectives? Awaken Mission Commander Cortana and Deputy Arbiter from suspension once the ship is within three days travel distance from the target. You all right, bro? Boss, 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 that's me. The big fish, and Poncho, forerunner, back later, commander, captain of this evil ship. I am the fucking alpha male, fuck Hera. How about I just call you chief? We have almost reached it. Reached what? Doesn't you wanna know what your purpose is? That voice. I don't like you. Right back at you, sweetheart. I don't like this. And pal, I don't trust it. It seems harmless. It's been alone for a long time. Hello, spaghetti -o. This is serial, guys. If we doesn't fix this thing in 72 hours, our is not gonna be able to download it anymore. Freaky pornos till we got back to the planet. Wait, Earth. Where's the box? Behind the panel on the communications tower. What outside the ship? The people in suspension are already in danger. What do you mean? They're kept alive through a life support system. What do you think controls that? We replace the satellite component. Then we pulled the plug. I have been on this space ship a long ass times and no matter how many times I came out here. It's just really pretty, that's all. You're right. It's beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta know when to pull the plugs on some things, am I right? Hello. What the fuck? Does I look like a monster to you? Does I get as a big scary to send claws? You killed her, pal. Awesome penis. You know the drill, boys. Rape every butt on sight, dead or alive. I cannot does that arbiter. Hello. Hello. You really think you and that sweet ass yours are gonna get out of this alive? If your friends don't back down, nobody will. Y y you'll you'll never Neither will you.
place where the hell is Nyma Bowie Vasta, but I'm pretty sure there's a lots of cucks like you who made arts all the time, and seeing people reacted to those arts as kinda how they made their lives meant some things, why can't you be one of those guys? I mean our lives have felt like stages and bosses, trans chaos theosies, who's the boss this time? I'm worried I think something bad's coming, we only bad. Why am I always teamed with retards? I'm not losing again, goddammit! This is a serious match! I need help over here! I'm so serious right now! We're on our way. Let's take the Warthog, I'll drive. You there? Yeah, I'm just... It says we've been friends on Xbox Live for almost 10 years now. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Pretty crazy. Good times. Yeah. Man, did you hear the thing about Trump? Gonna have to be a bit more specific. The stupid fucking thing he did today. I hate him. Him and everybody who voted for him. Don't you? I mean, you do, right? Obviously. Well, I voted for him. <gasps> Mods! Mods! Dude, seriously? <sighs> hey, you. Get in the turret. Come on, we gotta go! Is your mic on? Quit jerking off. We're losing! Where the fuck are you guys? This is really fucking serious! Yeah, coming. Jesus. We're so fucked! Hello, world. Was that? Was that you? Did you say something? I don't get it. Am I supposed to laugh or... Hello, world. Hello, world.
Hello world. Hello world. What the fuck is that voice? What are you guys? Oh, what? <laughs> Hello world. Grand Theft Auto, more like. It is better be good. Grand Theft Auto, 
no, 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 no. Selling tickets for your stand up yet? I fucking told you just go to my website. This game looks like complete shit. Here. Play. Bye. You don't well, wanna- Well, you're gonna fucking force me to then find Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hope I didn't bruise you with my gun pressed against your fucking head. How many times you gonna do this? This is all you do in real life, you fucking loser. It is now it is the time you operate motor vehicles. Get back in the fucking kitchen. A good bitch is a dead bitch. God damn that I hate women so much. Why won't any woman touch my dick? Why doesn't they all put out for me all the times? I'm a nice guy. You fucking hear me cunt. I'm a nice fucking guy. Innocent people, they ask you that in doubt and poems. Say bye bye for your tits. Fuck you, you wanna see my license? So much innocence everywhere. Shit. Oh, oh, fuck now, that was a good time. Thank you.